On Wednesday, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau announced that if elected, his party would overturn cannabis convictions. While Trudeau has expressed support for cannabis legalization in the past, this new pledge means possible freedom for those serving time in prison for cannabis and a clean slate for people with criminal records for weed. At a campaign stop in Vancouver, Trudeau said, There have been many situations over history when laws come in that overturn previous convictions, and there will be a process for that that will be set up in a responsible way. Trudeau also took the opportunity to point out the failings of the Harper Conservatives' war on cannabis. Quote, one of the things that we've seen is that Mr. Harper's approach on drugs is actually financing gun runners and street crimes. Mr. Harper has failed in his drug policy. It is time that Canada regulated and controlled marijuana to protect our kids, to protect our communities, and to prevent the funds from flowing into the coffers of drug runners and street gangs. And that is what we are committed to, and that's what we'll get cracking on when we form a government. While the Liberals' cannabis policy has the backing of a majority of Canadians, Prime Minister Harper says we agree with his war on cannabis. Last week, he pledged an additional $27 million per year for the RCMP to target cannabis grow ops and meth labs. As for Thomas Mulcair and the NDP, the party supports cannabis decriminalization, which would allow police to ticket people for having cannabis. Perhaps that's why Mulcair announced Wednesday that if elected, he would increase the number of police patrolling Canadian streets.